vegetables, everything that you can eat, nice stock. Um, well, and this was discovered as a very good opportunity for people who are partying on the river bank. Because the fish market starts very early on Sunday morning. And people who are partying on the river bank, it's at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning, still didn't want to go home. They took the beer, they took a stroll down from the river and came here, mingled with the people who were going to buy, well, vegetables and so forth. And this expanded and it grew and it grew. It's now really big money. And, uh, well, many people that come here actually have had a beer too many when they come here and they buy rusty nails and new stentures and uh, souvenirs of the forest and they this kind of stuff. But the music is good. The market is here on this parking lot and around the building. And in the building is music, live music. There's swing and there's jazz and dance. You can have coffee. And uh, sometimes it gets flooded. Uh, nine weeks ago, the water was here knee high. You can imagine now, when we're here in the summertime at low tide, and you can see all of the submarine there. Yeah. Until like the whole, the entire submarine, because the water level is so low in the river, people don't believe it. But I'm glad you, you probably believe me. Yes, so this does get better from, from time to time. Um, and that's why they have these shots there on that restaurant. They are metal, they are red and they're green. If you can't see them, then just look at this building here. It's the same thing over there. On this building, the shots are even higher, they're even heavier, they're waterproof. And you can see how high these metal shots are to protect the building from high floods. This is how high the water was in 1976, the highest flood that Humboldt ever had. That's why. Uh, another proof for this is uh, certainly the wall behind us there, behind the parking lot. You can see how high that is. That is designed to protect Hamburg from high floods. Uh, I heard somebody mention a submarine there. That's a real submarine. It's uh, a Russian submarine. It was a spy submarine. It was built in 1976. It was in service until 2002. It's covered with six um, that trick worked very well. Sonar couldn't detect it, but then with modern technology, of course, it doesn't work anymore. So the Russians sold that, like many of their submarines, they sold after the breakup of the Soviet, Soviet Union. Yeah. And the Hamburg millionaire bought this, uh, put it here in the port, and made a museum. If you go on that submarine, make sure to hire a guide. The tour of the submarine is much, much better if you have a guide with you. <laughs>